Hey guys, so this is PEX video phase two. I'm going to show you how to do phase two of PEX. So you, at this point, your student knows pretty well how to use the PEX book. Um, they're starting to exchange the pictures pretty rapidly and know exactly what you mean when you want them to use it. So at this point, you want them to be able to find you and find their book because they're not gonna always have that right next to them. So first, I'm going to again, give my student some choices. And in this video, I also have Addie, my daughter helping us. She's gonna be our communicator. And you're gonna also want to have that second prompter again. And in this video is my son, Rowan. He's gonna be our second prompter um, to start. So this time I'm gonna use toys. Um, again, you can use food, it doesn't matter. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you use food and toys and just a bunch of random items that the student will request. That way they know that this is for lots of different things, not just for one. So I'm gonna present her with both of the items. She wants a wind up toy. So I'm gonna give her the wind up toy for her to play with. I'm gonna go in my book, find that picture. She might go and get it by herself at this point, or she might not. If she doesn't, that's fine. I'm gonna put it on here. Um, it still is okay to use general pictures during this phase. Um, the more specific, the better, but if you have to use a general picture, that's fine. I do have a picture for wind up toys, so that's what I'm gonna put on here. So with this phase, what I'm going to do is start really close to her, kind of like I was before. So I'm going to start here. I've got my toy back in my hand, and I'm going to put the picture book in front of her. And she already knows what to do. So I'm going to show her, wind up, and I'm going to give her the toy. That was a successful exchange, meaning she gave me the picture when I wanted it. So I'm going to put it back in the book, make sure it's not in the same spot, and I'm going to take a step backwards. Three, two, one, I get my toy back, my turn. I'm gonna tempt her with my picture by holding it out. I'm gonna be a little further so she has to reach towards me. Wind up, and I give her back the toy. So this time I'm gonna take another step back. So I'm way over here in the corner and she's on that side of the room. Three, two, one, my turn, I've got the picture. This time I'm way over here and she doesn't quite know what to do. She picks up the picture, but she doesn't know what to do. And just stay there. And so my prompter, which is Rowan, he's gonna take her and kind of gently guide her towards me. Oh, wind up. And I gave her her toy. Let her play with it for a few seconds. Since where I'm at was in a successful interaction, meaning she was not able to come exchange that picture with me on her own. I need to step forward again. So you're going to want to keep, if that, if she's not able to exchange that, that picture with me without needing somebody to help her, then that's when you're going to move forward. If she's successful, as in she gives you the picture and doesn't need help, then that's when I keep stepping back. You kind of have to play with it. So three, two, one, my turn. All right, this time, hold on. This time, say her that interaction is pretty good. I wanna get at least up to six feet in between herself and myself, even actually across the room. So this time, before I go across the room, I'm going to move the picture book. Because the picture book is not always gonna be where she is. So I'm gonna put the picture book on the counter over here. And I'm gonna stand a little bit closer and this time I'm gonna hold the item. Now she's probably not gonna to go to that book. So my prompter here, Rowan, is going to direct her to the book. Put your hand in the picture. Now she knows. Wind up and I give her her toy. So I'm pretty close to that book. I'm going to move that picture so she didn't know where it was. A little water play with the toy again, and then I'm going to leave the book there. So 
three, two, one, my turn. I'm gonna take back my toy. And this time she should know where that book is. She's gonna come find me, wind up. I'm gonna to wanna to try to get this as much in her face as possible so she kind of sees it, but that inner, that exchange between toy and picture is too quick. Once she knows where the book is and that exchange is successful, she exchanged it without Rowan's help. As a prompter, three, two, one, my turn. I'm gonna move this book again. I'm gonna place it here on the floor. I don't have a whole lot of options in my kitchen, but it's here on the floor and I'm gonna move over here. She was able to find it this time. She exchanges my picture and I say, wind up and hand her her toy. Now, again, you're gonna wanna switch between this one communication partner through another one. So this time I'm gonna have Rowan be the communication partner and I'll be the prompter. So I'm gonna move the picture, the book back on the chair. We're gonna give her a second with the toy. She might get tired of this and wanna stop and that's fine. You just kind of do it until they wanna stop or you have to stop. Um, you can change activities if they want to change activities, that's fine too. Three, two, one, my turn. Okay, this time I'm going to give her own little toy. Emmy, don't go to him. Hand me the picture. So she hands me the picture. I'm going to take her and direct her to who she wants to hand. Hey. Rowan, hold out your hand. Wind up. There you go. That exchange was not successful. She didn't know who to take it to, who had the thing. So I'm going to keep the book where it is. Rowan's going to stand a little bit closer, though. So he's a little closer to the book. All right, yeah. Three, two, one, my turn. Rowan's going to take the thing. Why? That time it was successful. So row, take a step back. One step. At any time, if she seems like she's getting kind of bored. Three, two, one, my turn. Oh, she's reaching towards this one now. Now this is still a wind up, so I can still use that same picture. I'm gonna leave the book there, Rose, step back. Rose's gonna have the toy, okay? Wind up. All right, that was successful. I can place this back on the book, and Rose's gonna step back. This time, say she's gotten really good at being able to find the book, find Rowan. I'm gonna move the book again. So she knows where she has, to stop. she has to travel to find that book in order and travel to find her communication partner. Three, two, one, my turn. All right, say she's gotten really good at this exchange. She finds her book, she finds her communication partner, she's good. Now, say you're in another room and they wanna communicate. She wants to tell you something, hold on it. I'm going to pretend this wall here is another room. So Rowan is going to stand outside of this wall, just slightly outside of the wall, because you need to teach your communicator, your student, to be able to find somebody if they're not in the same room to be able to tell them. She can't yell, so that is a way for her to be able to still communicate and know that she has words, these I'm considering as words, to be able to talk to somebody who's not in the same room as her. So he's slightly outside that room. You can barely see him. That book is over here. He's got the toy. He might need to hold it out so she can kind of see him. She's gonna grab her picture. Say she doesn't know where to go. And I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna direct her. Roman, hold your hand up. One. And I will help him and by putting it back on the page, Make sure you don't put it in the same place so she has to look for that picture. I can move the book around. Oops. 
let her play for just a second. Three, two, one. Now she knows her own's over here. She's got the toy. She looks for her book. Now she knows exactly what to do. Wind up. And he's going to back up just a tiny bit. I can't quite see him as much. I got my book. I'm going to move my book around. Once they get really good at finding where their book is and finding their communication partner, you really want to switch it up a lot very quickly just so they're constantly looking for that book and looking for their communication partner. Three, two, one. One. So the whole goal of phase two is to be able to have them find their book find their communication partner. And that's all that you want to be able to success, be successful with in this space. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope that helps. Bye.